Okay guys, I got some catback exhaust here that I put on to this E36 BMW and it's way too loud. It's actually giving me a headache when I'm driving around. So in this video, I will show you how to build a silencer inside of it. Okay, let's start by taking it off. Okay guys, so when I bought this BMW M3 E46 aftermarket exhaust off eBay, I messaged the company and I asked them, I'm like, are these just straight through pipes or are these actual mufflers because I don't want my car being too loud. And they told me, oh no, it won't be too loud, won't be too loud. And I gotta tell you guys, it did sound really cool. If you like loud, cool sounding exhaust, this totally worked, but it's definitely not quiet. So now what I'm gonna do is in an area where you won't be able to see, I'm gonna grab my grinder and I'm gonna cut a hole out, something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see what's in this thing. Okay guys, so inside of there, there's fiberglass stuff. So this, these are resonators. That's what these are called. So basically all the exhaust goes from there, goes through this thing, right? And then these little holes here, as you can see, so this absorbs some of the sound because I mean, it is a little bit quieter than, you know, having just straight pipes, but this is almost as loud as a straight pipe would be. So I'm going to show you how to build a silencer inside of these to make this exhaust really, really quiet, guys. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just pull all this out. Okay, now that I got all that out, we need to cut this pipe out. So I'm just going to cut it like that and then try to get in there with the grinder to, to take it out basically okay so i ended up cutting it open more so i could get to this thing so now using an old grinding disc that's worn out see i can put it on with no shield and i should be able to get in there completely cut this thing out on both sides okay so we got this out and now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna build a muffler inside of this this is only four inches wide guys all I'm using is a cheap little welder like that. I got an old hood for some metal. See, I'm gonna cut out some circles. I got some one and a half inch pipe. I bought a couple of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start this and I'll show you guys once I got some of it welded up and then I'll show you guys the whole thing so you can get an idea of how to make a whisper quiet exhaust. If you're in the situation that I'm in, I have no room to add extra mufflers, extra resonators, nothing. There's absolutely no room. So I got to make this car quiet because it's bugging my ears. All right, I'll see you guys in about an hour. Okay, just in case you're wondering later how I did this. So I cut circles out, see? Then I cut little slits, right? And then it's easy to bend it like this. Pretty easy, I mean, I'm using basic tools here, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna continue this, right? So then that'll go like this, right? And then grab this pipe. I mean, you guys kind of get it, right? But this, this can go over, right? All right, I'm gonna rig this up and I'll show you guys some more. Okay guys, so here's my first piece, as you can see. So that's just gonna go in there, just like that. And then we're gonna have our first chamber right here. Um, you, you're getting the idea of how I'm doing this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build this whole thing and then I'll explain to you how it works once it's done and how it makes things quiet. Okay, so I built another piece here. I just want you guys to kind of understand once this is installed. So this is the same size as that in there. It basically just slides in. This is gonna slide into the exit, get it? Uh, okay, I'm gonna put that up, tack it up, see that's what it looks like. It'll all make sense in a minute. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put this in, slide that right in there, tack it in. Then we have one more chamber to make and this thing will be whisper quiet. Yeah, and this is a inch and a half pipe, right? This is like two and a half inch pipe on this original thing. Check out the original muffler, guys. So as you can see, so 
So the original pipes were two inches going in and then it goes through all these different chambers just the way ours does. But on the way out, it only actually goes out this one. This one has a valve that's always closed unless you like floor the car, then it opens and closes. But see this pipe here, that one, this is only inch and a half pipe too, get it? And when you, and that's dual going in, we got only one going in, right? And then another one per muffler. So even if we do the whole thing in this size pipe, it's, it's gonna be good for exhaust full out when you floor it yeah this is inch and a half this is just a little bit bigger when they're both opened so in the end we have one pipe going out through inch and a half on ours and the other one inch and a half should be more than enough if you're really worried about it see i drilled a couple holes here I'll, i will get to everything once it's done but i mean you could drill like three holes three holes drill a hole here drill two here two here if you're really worried about not getting enough air through but a muffler does what it does okay i'm gonna weld that in then one more chamber and then i'll explain to you how this works exactly all right guys there it is all done get both sides i'm very happy with it so let me just show you how this works they both work the same way so i'll just show you on one of them so exhaust goes in right and then inside of here as you can see there is a smaller pipe that goes into it and then it's not connected like it just sits inside so some of the exhaust fumes are going to run on the outside of that pipe and they're going to run into this chamber here and they have nowhere to go they're stuck in there so the sound waves are going to bounce back and forth and they're going to fly back in and some of them will get cancelled out so it's going to get quieter right off the bat especially drone sound that should get rid of most of the drone so then the exhaust travels through and the sound waves into here uh, the sound waves are going to go in and in this chamber they're going to bounce back and forth canceling each other out right the exhaust will just flow through like this over here i got these holes drilled i got uh four 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 and four 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 and four kind of facing each other so at idle speeds this will kind of go from here to here um canceling each other out as well and when you when you floor it it's going to flow this way sound waves are going to travel and then this is a different size than this so you, a different frequency is going to get eliminated of sound it's going to go back and forth eliminating even more sound exhaust flows through and then here check out what i did so here is a closed chamber right this pipe directly hooks into this pipe like it gets bigger right it's hooked right up so this chamber is closed off so a lot of the sound waves are going to go in here they're going to flow into this chamber bouncing around in here being stuck and then the exhaust fumes will get forced to go this way into there and out creating a five chamber muffler guys this is going to make it whisper quiet just like a regular car nothing loud about it okay so now what i'm gonna do is out of the hood i'm gonna cut out rectangles and i'm gonna weld this up this up this up and this up and this up separately so i can weld onto these and then when i'm done doing that i'm gonna weld one big giant piece on the whole thing obviously if i had a mig welder i could make this beautiful but i just have a flux core welder I'm doing it on areas that you won't see, so it'll be good. So I'm going to weld half of it up. I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll see you guys soon. And we'll put it on the car and I'll show you how nice and quiet it is. All right. So now I cut all these little pieces of metal out. See, and I'm just going to tuck them in like this. Tack them on. So that way it'll be easier to cover this up. Also, if you're worried about this rusting out, don't worry. I will show you how to make it so this never rusts uh, towards the end of this video okay so there it is all welded up um so now see that's the only part you see is that bottom part from the back of the car which we didn't even touch that part see this part you don't see it at all i mean i could just leave it as is no big deal and then on the back see we cut it there so these are just flux core welds yes if i use stainless steel and a tig welder i could have made it beautiful but it is completely closed in there's no air escaping anywhere. 
Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up with a floppy disk like this, just to smooth out these welds, clean all this up, and I'm gonna paint this silver with some heat resistant paint and that, but I'm not painting any of the stainless steel. I'm just gonna paint just, just what you see there. So that's one thing. And the second thing is once it's all painted and it looks beautiful, I'll show you what to do to make this never ever rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that. And uh, I'm gonna let the paint dry till tomorrow. Look how much metal I used up guys. And in the end, this cost me nothing to do. And it's gonna sound great, but be very quiet like a normal car guys. All right, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so there it is. All the visible parts, especially that part looks nice. Um, as you can see, that's what it looks like painted. I cleaned up the welds. It's not super perfect. Like I said, if I was ticking it with stainless, I could have made it look better, but you don't see any of that. It is what it is. Okay, so now this is two stroke engine oil, like for uh, dirt bikes. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna dump some into these. I'm gonna put about 200 milliliters into each one of these. And then I'm gonna move this whole thing around so it kind of gets to everything. So this is gonna have this in there. It's gonna have oil in there. And then as the car's running, it's just gonna sizzle around in there. And that will prevent it from rusting, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Wait for this paint to dry out. And then we're putting it on and I will show you a before and an after guys, so stay tuned. I make these videos for you guys, so please like and subscribe and maybe even a super thanks.